Once the public was clear, Andy reluctantly handed over the keys to one of the school cars for Tim's first attempt at drifting blind. The final attempt would of course be in the BRZ, but the high-powered Nissans are far easier to learn with, so this was his starting point. No blindfold and he soon got a feel for things, but once the lights were out it would be a vastly different matter. No, it didn't take long for things to go well and truly Pete Tong, as they say locally. Hit one patch of gravel when you can't see, and instantly the speed of the spin alters. So where you thought you were, you aren't, and where you hoped you would be, has moved. Basically, this happens. Oh, yes, I crashed their car. This is why blindfold drifting will never evolve as a sport, people.